Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a hallucination video effect in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. For creating hallucination video effect, we will use some Premiere Pro built-in effects. So, let's get started. Alright, now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see in the timeline, I have already imported a stock video clip from Artlist. You can use any video clip. First of all, we have to create an adjustment layer. That's why, let's go to the project panel. And then, right click on the project panel. After that, we have to click on the adjustment layer. Next, click on OK. In the next step, we have to drag and drop the adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 2. Now, we have to apply an effect to the adjustment layer. That's why, move over to the effects panel. Now, I am going to apply the lens distortion effect. Let's drag and drop this lens distortion effect to the adjustment layer. After that, let's move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the opacity panel, we have to create a mask. To create a mask perfectly, let's select the zoom level of the program monitor around 25%. This will decrease the zoom level of the program monitor. Next, we have to click on this for point polygon mask icon to create a rectangular mask. Now you can see on the program monitor, a rectangular mask has been created. Now we have to customize the mask. Firstly, we have to select all the corners of the mask. And then, you need to hover at the corner, until you see that kind of rotational symbol. And then, press shift. After that, you will get this double arrow. Once you see the double arrow, then right click, and scale up. After that, let's select and hold this right top corner of the mask. Now you can see the corner is filled in solid blue. Next, press shift from the keyboard. Then drag and move to the top side. Please note, this step is important. So make sure to do the same, as I am showing here. Change the mask to something like this. Now you can see on the program monitor, this is the perfect mask. In the next step, we have to make the mask feather value around 100. And then, let's make the mask expansion value around negative 243. After that, we have to enable this inverted parameter. And lastly, from the lens distortion effect, we have to make the curvature parameter value around negative 40. Now, you can see the changes on the program monitor. Now let's move over to the project panel. And then, drag and drop this adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 3. Now, we have to apply some effects to this top adjustment layer. So, let's move over to the effects panel. Now, I am going to apply the tint effect. Let's drag and drop the tint effect to the top adjustment layer. After that, I am going to apply the emboss effect. Let's drag and drop this emboss effect to the top adjustment layer. Now, go to the Effect Controls panel to customize all the effects. From the Opacity panel, let's change the Blend Mode to Overlay. And then, from the Tint effect, we have to change the Matte Black color. This parameter represents the color for the darkest areas of your video. In this place, I am going to use the red color. By the way, you can use any color. Next, let's change the Matte White color. This parameter represents the color for the brightest areas of your video. In this place, I am going to use the blue color. In the next step, from the emboss effect, let's make the direction value around 90 degrees. After that, let's make the relief parameter value around 15. This parameter controls the depth of the emboss effect. Now, you can see on the program monitor, this emboss effect created a grayscale emboss look, highlighting the edges of our video. It looks great. In the last step, we have to duplicate this bottom adjustment layer and place this bottom adjustment layer in video layer 4. And then, select the adjustment layer and go to the effect controls panel. Now, from the opacity panel, we have to make the mask feather value around 500. Alright, now we are done. The hallucination video effect creation is complete. In this way, you can create a hallucination video effect in Premiere Pro. If we play the video, you can see the hallucination effect should look like this. It looks great. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.